Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be making some guava barbecue chicken. Now, as the name states, I will be using some guava paste. Some of my green seasoning. About a tablespoon of brown sugar. A quarter cup of barbecue sauce I'm gonna be using one teaspoon of yellow mustard and about a quarter cup of tomato ketchup as well and for my dry herbs I'm gonna be using my poultry rub here I have one tablespoon of poultry rub one tablespoon of paprika two teaspoons of garlic powder one teaspoon of Goya edible one teaspoon of all-purpose seasoning and one teaspoon of black pepper now i may be adding a few more ingredients along the way so just bear with me and let's start the recipe so for this recipe i'm going to be using three pieces of leg quarters so i already cleaned it and i patted it dry And let's get to seasoning so I'm gonna start mixing my dry rub together And next, I'm going to go in with my green seasoning. Now, I'm going to place about half a teaspoon of seasoning on each leg quarter. I'm pretty much just spread that around. Now, remember to also put some of that seasoning under the skin of the chicken when seasoning. And now I'm going in with my dry rub and I'm gonna put this all over the chicken including underneath the skin now I'm gonna start by applying it gradually to the chicken and then rubbing it in So now the chicken has been seasoned both front and back and under the skin and I'm just going to put some one inch incisions. Now usually I would do this before I start seasoning my chicken but I was pretty much cramped for time and moving around a lot so I forgot. So I'm just doing it now. And now I'm gonna start adding seasoning through these incisions so that the chicken can be seasoned throughout. 
and evenly. So now that I'm done seasoning, I'm going to place this in the oven at 375 degrees and I'm just going to have it in there until it sprouts its own juices. It's going to remain uncovered. Now in this pan, I've placed one tablespoon of butter. So I'm just going to have the butter melted. And continue to toss it around the pan. And the butter is at room temperature. So now I'm going to go in with my quarter cup of ketchup. And that's followed by a quarter cup of my hickory barbecue sauce. Now I'm going to go in with my brown sugar and my guava paste. Now I got this from my local Caribbean supermarket and it's just sold like in a block and I just diced it up. So this was about one cup of paste. So I'm going to allow this to pretty much come to a simmer. And the paste is going to melt and it's going to make this beautiful guava barbecue sauce. Yeah, so this sauce is so thick and creamy and it has this sweet taste to it. So it just makes it all the better. So I had it on low heat for about five to ten minutes. And I allowed it to stay warm. I'm going to go in with my one teaspoon of mustard. Move that around a bit. And get it well incorporated into my barbecue sauce. Now persons can add soy sauce if they would like to. Apple cider vinegar. I just choose not to. But that's an option as well. So it's been going for about six minutes right now. And it is good so as you can see it sprouted quite a bit of its own juices I'm gonna empty that out and I'll be right back so I'm gonna start with the application of that guava barbecue sauce and I'm gonna start by placing that brush on there And it is going on so thick on there the color is coming right in with that barbecue sauce as you guys can see it looks like it's being done on a grill Now this is going back in the oven for an additional 15 minutes and once it is done I'm going to do the brush on the other side of the chicken and there you can see I'm going to be using the same barbecue sauce and slather that side of the chicken as well.
And now I'm also going to be adding another coat of that guava barbecue sauce. I'm actually going to be doing that coating three times on both sides. Thanks again for watching. See you next time.